Hey guys, it's Pete with Chill Dude Videos. I'm just coming back from the Overland Expo outside of Flagstaff. Great event. I got there Thursday. I left Monday morning. Um, it's You need three days, full days, to see this thing. It's huge. There's hundreds and hundreds of vendors. There's tons of demos. You know, I got the full package, so I, all the classes were opened up to me. Although, if you want to get some of the specialty classes, like the driving and such, um, although Land Rover was pretty flexible about getting in on their course, some of the master classes taught by, you know, in small groups with your own vehicle, for instance, on a course, those you have to sign up for online and they book up months in advance. So learned a bunch of stuff, met a ton of cool people. It's a great event. Enjoy. <laughs> Got up this morning, got my French press going, knocked the whole craft over, broke, spilled it all over my carpet. I was out here 5.30 in the morning, using the rest of my extra water and a bunch of rags to try to get the coffee stain out of my carpet. Okay, the Overland Expo is kind of crazy. It's huge. I wish I'd brought my bike. This is all the Land Rover folk getting ready for their first big day. <laughs> it looks serious. Uh, this is actually the first FJ60 that has had the Cummins R2.8 turbo diesel put in. So this is a 1987 FJ60 Toyota Land Cruiser. Natural restorations out of Arizona. Check it out. So this is some people that went out camping and left all of their trash. We restored it to what it should look like. Um, this was some kids that went out and spray painted the rock with graffiti and we went out there and removed it to its natural beauty. We're natural restorations and we're based out of Arizona. Yeah, so I did the Land Rover thing and at first I thought, ah, it's a Land Rover, it's not a Jeep, I'm not gonna love this. And got in the rig and the guy, I'm an engineer, so I went through all of the, the computer piece of it and looked at all of the incredible things that this thing 
thing would do. And I thought, no, it isn't going to come close. <laughs> got out there, and, I, and the guy let me do anything I wanted to do with it. And we got up on these angles, and I thought, sure, we're going to lay it on its side. And he's sitting over there, even sweating. It yeah, was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Had a great yeah, time. Yeah, dogs. Land Rover's yeah, awesome. Jeep's better. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Pete here with Chill Dude Videos and we are with Jonathan at Sportsmobile and he's going to give us a walkthrough of their gear hauling outfit. Yeah, this is a four-wheel drive Sprinter um, based on the 170 wheelbase and yeah, it's our gear machine. So we have it set up with two front seats uh, with a bench for three here. Uh, so you'll notice the swivel on the front seat and it will create a nice little eating area here with our three-person bench. Uh, the three-person bench is also removable so it can create some extra space if you don't need the extra passenger room. And then right behind it we have our galley, so we have some drawer space, we have a refrigerator freezer here, and then we have a lot of upper storage. We have our microwave above the kitchen area, galley storage here, and then more upper, upper cabinetry. This is a three-panel removable and adjustable bed. Uh, you'll notice the tracks on the side and the the bed can go up or down or be completely removed so if you wanted to haul a motorcycle or some bigger gear you can get the bed completely out of the way. Um, so yeah it's just set up for all the toys, all the gear, nice and open, um, sleeping for four, um, very versatile. Yeah, high top, four wheel drive, um, attic fans, we can do air conditioning, they're all customizable. So um, this is how I wanted mine done and we can do it however you like. This is our 144 inch wheelbase Sprinter four wheel drive with the low roof and we add our penthouse top edition to give you full stand up height and a nice bed upstairs. So we've got swivel seats up front, um, makes a real nice living area here, really open floor space, people with dogs uh, really love this floor plan because there's a lot of room. Then we have our galley right behind the driver's seat with a refrigerator freezer, a porta potty that will slide out of this lower cabinet two drawers and then behind it pots and pans storage cabinet with the sink on top and then we have a nice sound system we have all our control panels up over the uh, passenger side for solar our inverter our furnace water heater system we have a real nice rear bench it has seat belts for three and then it will easily deploy bed lays down and they're sleeping for two adults there and then like mentioned earlier with the penthouse top you have an upstairs and it's a really cool area to sleep. It's almost like a tree house. You have five opening windows, all with screens. Uh, so you can really create a nice you know, air vortex and get the hot air out through the upper windows. Um, nice camper for a family of four. And um, yeah, we have a lot of fun with these things. traveled all of Canada, backcountry byways that are put on by Bureau of Land Management, Continental Divide from Canada down to Mexico. Last year I drove to Alaska, I did the uh, Dalton Highway up to Prudhoe Bay, and then I went into the Yukon and did the Dempster up into the Northwest Territories. And a route that I'm repeating this year, Nova Scotia, ferry to Newfoundland, and a ferry from Newfoundland to Goose Bay, Labrador and then you drive out to northern Quebec. And I did that 25 years ago before the internet and when you got to Goose Bay Labrador there was a dotted line 
And I couldn't find anything out about the dotted line. It was a haul road, which meant 15 miles an hour, no faster, or you tore up your vehicle. It was 400 miles before I found a filling station, and it was an old gas pump with an outhouse. And inside the outhouse, <laughs> the outhouse looking wooden structure, was an old lady. She had a straw hat on and a corn cob pipe turned upside down, and she came walking out. Sonny, would you like some gas? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> she was a character. Those are the things you remember about trips. I listen to AM radio because in the back small towns, the AM radio is still the lifeblood of the community. They have public announcements. There's going to be a VFW picnic. It's about slices of life. It's not about the trip per se. So those are the things that you remember about these trips. Jim. Last name is F R E I M Freem, Norwegian. Yes, Makar Verlig, Norsk. Around every corner, there's something you haven't seen. And I'd like to see it all. <laughs> all right, get it. Take it away, Shinot. Take it away. Take it away. Hey, so Overland Expo was great. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thumbs up if you like where I'm headed and subscribe if you want to know when the next one's coming out. Thanks for watching.